What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here and in today's video I'm answering some of your questions that you've had in some previous Denon content and one that crops up quite often is whether or not there's any foreseeable or noticeable delay when listening to the receiver through either Atmos or any Dolby Digital codec. So we're going to test that today with the Xbox Series X the Apple TV 4K Gen 2, as well as the PS5. So let's take a look and see whether or not we notice anything. Go, act fast, Spartan. 30 seconds remaining. to make your day. Uh, long story short, I basically ended up skidding down a hill, getting thrown out of the golf cart, and Dom Toretto 360 myself, fast and furious style, ran over my ankle with both back wheels and a gas powered cart with somebody else riding shoddy and uh not broken thankfully but i did have some pretty bad tissue damage oh, mostly titanium so it's not rust it's some kind of chemical infection how's that even possible the answer to how is that insert bad thing here even possible it's always the same we're in an alien planet oh. it spreads through contact great All right, so there are some key examples. Again, we took these examples using the Hisense U8G or U88G for the panel itself. We tested this through the Denon S760H to see if there's any audio delay. We tested some gunshots in the Xbox using uh, Halo as far as the test because Halo does run in Dolby Atmos. We also took a look at Far Cry 6 on the PS5. That's just running a bitstream Dolby codec in multi-channel. And then we took a look at two pieces of content on YouTube in the Apple TV 4K, as well as on Netflix, because again, Netflix used the Dolby Atmos, where YouTube itself just used the multi-channel surround. So hopefully you guys saw that there's no delay, at least what I'm experiencing. I haven't like custom set anything up. I haven't set delayed timings. This is just the way that the Denon was out of the box for me. Now, I'm not using eARC to actually push content down from the TV into the amplifier. I'm using the amplifier's built-in HDMI to actually feed everything up to the television. But previously, I did have some things into the TV and my experience was the exact same. Now, in this video, we didn't test it, but I have tested it myself as far as audio drift which essentially means that there's microscopic little milliseconds worth of delay that tend to compound and add up. You see that a lot in uh, 24p or 23.59p content where the audio will start to kind of drift out of focus with 
what's happening on screen. And I've watched two like Avengers or Marvel movies back to back. So about four or five hours worth of continuous content. And I didn't experience any drifting or anything like that as well. So hopefully this either helps you make your best educated buying decision when it comes to your AVR. Again, this is the Denon S760H. Uh, some of you in the comments had asked about this. I've seen forums online that have depicted some issues as well, some user feedback saying that there was a little bit of delay. I'm not experiencing anything at all. Everything is coming through perfectly fine in my 7.1 surround. So maybe I got lucky, maybe you guys got unlucky, or maybe there's just an AVR lottery, just like there is with TV panel lotteries and just about everything else in the industry. But that's honestly gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys like the content or found it worthwhile at all, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share this on the forums for people who may be having these concerns as well so they can see that there are some AVR receivers out there that have no concerns. And until my next video, my name is Queasy Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you all in my next one. Take care.